So today we're going to look at this great bit of software which is going to enable you to convert your videos into MP4 so that they can be played on your phone, your tablet or your smart TV. If you're watching this as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So Video Proc Converter is the absolute ultimate converter program, which can basically convert any video into any format so that it's playable on virtually any device. It can also convert your DVDs. It can download stuff and convert it, and it can even record the screen. If you're interested in taking a look at this software, have a look in the link in the description of the video down below for more details on how to download the trial and purchase the full version if needed. So why would you want to convert your videos? Why don't you just put them straight onto your device? Well, quite simply, some devices will not play certain formats. Also, you might want to resize the actual size of the files so that they fit on devices. Some devices now have smaller memories than your old computers and laptops used to. So therefore, by converting it into an MP4 format or, or the like is a much more efficient format and doesn't take up hardly anywhere near as much room as say an MPEG format or a DVD format. So let's just have a look. Let's just go into the video section here. So as you can see, we've got the options down below here to convert into different formats. And these are the most popular formats. We can also go into target format here. And here we've got general profile. So we've got all the different video formats we can convert MP4, MOV, iPhone, iPad, Android phone, pad, HEVC video, MP4, MPEG4, WebM video. And then if we want to convert music, we've even got the different formats we can convert for music, including the uh, iPhone ringtones format. We can convert to an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod or Apple TV, convert to iTunes video, iDVD video, iMovie video, Final Cut Pro video, ProRes video. We can go into Huawei devices so you can convert to a Huawei mobile or a Huawei iPad video or pad video, Samsung devices here, convert to a Samsung mobile video or a pad video. We've got all these different formats here we can convert to if needed. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert an old skydiving video that I've got, which is in MPEG format. So let's just have a look. I'm just going to go into this uh, video here and let's just have a look at, at the size. First of all, I mean, the quality of the video isn't great, but the size is 500 megabytes, which I mean, my phone is only 16 gigabytes and most of that memory is already taken up. So if I wanted to put that on my phone, that would probably gobble up virtually most of or all or most of the space that's left on my phone. So I'm mainly concerned about converting this into uh, an MP4 format to try and get the size down. That's my main concern here. And so that it actually plays on my mobile phone as well. I can show it to my friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, like I say, add video. I'm going to select the skydive video there. OK, so it's analyzed it. It's had a look at it. It's telling me some details about it here. So not only can we convert it, but we can also, if we want to, we can go in and we can add effects to the video. We can add a watermark to it if we want to as well. So if you wanted to put a message on there, that's fine. We can do that. We can cut the video. So say, for instance, if you wanted to cut it out like the start of this video, I've just got a blue screen at the, at the very beginning. So if I wanted to, I could just go and cut that out so that it, it, it gets rid of that bit of blue screen and it just starts right at the very start of the video. I can crop the video if I want to. So what I can do here is I can go enable crop and then say, for instance, I wanted to get rid of those black bars down the side. I can change the preset to say, I don't know, something like 16 by nine 
And there you go. I've managed to move or remove the black bars on the on the side by zooming into it a little bit. I can even add a watermark if I want to. So let's go enable watermark. I'm going to type hello there and you can choose different fonts if you want to. You can choose different colors, different sizes. So let's try and make that a little bit bigger. There we go. I can move it around the screen. You've even got an option to rotate it. So if the video's round the wrong way, you can can rotate it left, upside down, right. You can also, if you want, you can add subtitles to it. So if you've got a subtitle file, you can add that to it as well. So to convert the video, all you've got to do is select the format you want it to go into. And I'm going to select MP4 and it's going to put it in a folder in our videos folder called Video Proc Converter. We can change the storage folder for that just by clicking browse and selecting another folder if we want, but let's just leave it where it is. I'm going to leave all these set as they are and just click run. This is now running. I mean, it says it's going to take just over a minute to uh, encode this file into MP4. Now, this is a 10 year old laptop I'm running it on. It's not got hardware acceleration apart from CPU. So it's not got GPU, that's graphics processing unit acceleration. If it did have it, then this would take a fraction of the time, but it's going through pretty quickly. It's running through 210 frames per second, 212 frames per second. So it's pretty good. It's doing uh, doing quite, quite well. So uh, not long left. It's 63% of the way through encoding the video. So this is quite normal for it to take a little while, but I must admit, I'm quite impressed. This is going through quite quickly compared to other free software that I've used in the past, um, which is nothing wrong with it, but it's not as easy to use as this particular software. And like I say, there are loads of different formats you can convert to over 420 formats all told. There you go. It's converted. So let's just have a look. My primary reason for converting this file was to make it smaller, to, to basically allow it to fit onto my mobile phone. So let's just right click on that and let's just see what the size was. The original was 500 megabytes. Blimey, there you go, 147 megabytes that's compressed to. And as far as I know, there's absolutely no loss in quality here. I mean, the quality of it wasn't a great uh, quality anyway, because it was from a VHS video. So there we are. That guide showed you Video Proc Converter, which allows you to virtually convert any video into any format to make it playable on virtually any modern day device. Check out the links in the description below. I hope you liked this video and if you did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.